Hi, welcome to my channel. I'd like to share with you 10 points of things that you don't hear in churches, even Bible churches. Number one, that there is more than one gospel in the Bible. If you think there's only one, read Galatians chapter one and chapter two and understand what Paul is saying, especially in chapter one, verse 11, and chapter two, verse seven. If you get one gospel out of those verses, then flip your Bible upside down or do something. I don't know what to tell you. But if you don't uh, get that there's more than one gospel and Paul got his gospel not from anyone else but Jesus Christ by revelation, then I can't tell you um, what to think from there. Um, another thing that you don't hear from church is that the body of Christ, believers today who are saved, starts with the Apostle Paul. You would find that in 1 Timothy 1.16. Another one, Paul's new gospel that Jesus gave to Paul was different than what Jesus gave to Peter and the other 11 to preach. It's two different gospels. And I mentioned that basically number one. Jesus was not talking to you in the four gospels. Well, he wasn't talking to me either. He wasn't talking to you. He was dealing with the nation of Israel. That's what he said. He said multiple times that he came to his own and his own received him not. He came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who he came for. That's who he was dealing with. Number five, what you don't hear, I've never heard, been in church for 40 years, never heard the fact that Paul talks about Jesus Christ more than any other writer can you imagine? If you want to know the most about a person, wouldn't you go to the source that tells the most about him? Paul talks about Jesus Christ more than any other Bible writer. And it kind of makes it clear that, you know, we want to understand and know what Paul said. Number six, James was talking to the 12 tribes of Israel when he wrote his epistles. The book of James. Matter of fact, it's not hard, it's not an interpretation. Just read the first verse to the 12 tribes of Israel. Number seven, Paul's new gospel was a mystery hidden God. You find that from Romans 16:25 and Colossians uh, chapter 1 and Ephesians chapter 3. That Paul's gospel was a mystery and if something is a mystery and it's hid and it's unsearchable all those three words are used in Ephesians chapter 3 to describe the gospel that Paul preached in this dispensation if that's the case then no one knew about it Peter didn't know about it Moses didn't know about it and Adam didn't know about it and Jesus never spoke about the body of Christ in the four gospels I know what you're thinking he said he's gonna start his church and uh, there are multiple churches, a lesson for another day, but we'll be talking about there's more than uh, one church in the Bible. There's more than one baptism in the Bible. And so we'll, we'll talk more about that another time. Uh, Jesus came to and for the Jews, Romans 15, 8. He was a minister of the circumcision, not the Gentiles. The Gentiles are the uncircumcision. And so you can find that in Galatians 4, 4 as well, and Matthew uh, 15, 24, and John 1, 11. And lastly, the 11 apostles did not believe that Jesus rose from the dead. You hear what I'm saying? They didn't believe that Jesus rose from the dead after, after, that was after he rose from the dead. They didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. And you can find that in Mark 16, 14. Jesus was with them for three and a half or so years. He preached with them, did perform miracles, told them in Matthew 16, he was gonna to go, to uh, go to the cross, and yet they still did not believe that he was going. Matter of fact, Peter said, no, far be from thee, Lord. He even tried to cut off the guy's ear. He even hid when, he, uh, when Jesus was taken. No, they, they didn't believe in the resurrection. And, but yet they were preaching a gospel, which kind of has to make you think, right? If they were preaching a gospel, but they didn't believe in the resurrection, 
not only before the resurrection, they didn't believe the resurrection after the resurrection, they could not have been preaching the same gospel that Paul was preaching, which included the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. These things I listed, you only get to understand properly if you're a Bible student who cares about what the truth is in God's Word, and only if you rightly divide it. If you rightly divide God's Word, you will come up with these things to be accurate documentation. These are accurate facts. They're not interpretation. They are just facts. You know, you could count the times that Paul talks about Jesus Christ. It's a number thing. He talked about, he talked about Jesus Christ more than any other. It's, you know, there's no question about that. How the body of Christ, uh, you know, Paul started the body of Christ. Oh, no, he did not. It was started with Peter and the Twelve. Well, if that's the case, then, then they started it without the gospel that Jesus gave to Paul because they didn't preach the gospel of the grace of God. They didn't preach the resurrection. They didn't preach Jesus' death. They didn't want him to go. Remember Doubting Thomas? Doubting Thomas, huh? Yeah, we just, you know, we, we kind of make fun of Doubting Thomas. But what was the doubting? He was doubting that he rose from the dead after he rose. Now, li listen to these 10 things. Let me read them really quick again. There's more than one gospel in the Bible. The body of Christ started with Paul. Paul's new gospel Jesus gave him was different than Peter's. Jesus was not talking to you in the four gospels. Paul talks about Jesus Christ more than any other writer. James was talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. Everyone loves the book of James and try to apply so much of it to themselves. And we can get some spiritual application out of verses throughout the Bible. But just be careful what you do apply to yourself because James was talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. So it's pretty clear. Just read James 1.1 and find the audience. Number seven. Paul's new gospel message was a mystery. It was a secret. It was hidden God. Number eight, the gospel of the grace of God cannot be found in the Old Testament or the four gospel books. Number nine, Jesus came to and for the Jews. Number 10, the 11 apostles did not even believe that Jesus rose from the dead after he rose from the dead. <laughs> wow, that's a different gospel than us. Hopefully these things make sense to you. Search them out for yourself. Don't believe me. Never take my word for it. Just look at it. Read the verses for yourself. Have an open mind. You know, the good Bible student will have an open mind, will look at things objectively, non-biasly, and not be afraid to change their mind on things. <laughs> I did that about eight years ago when I came to rightly dividing the word and all the things that I was, was taught. I changed my mind on so many things, but I changed my mind not on what a man said, but what I saw God's Word said when it was explained to me a little bit better. Sometimes you need, you need some help, and hopefully that's what I'm trying to do today. Either way, find out for yourself. Feel free to leave a comment. We can have a discussion, but uh, I will leave this list, uh, a link to this list on my website that I have and uh, you can search it out for yourself. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.